the 5,000-year-old human bone found in the River Thames. Graphic designer Simon went out for a row one morning on the River Thames in London. His hunt came across a rather unexpected find. Lying on the pebbles and rocks of the riverbed, at low tide was a human femur, or upper leg bone. Carbon dating has since indicated it to be more than 5,000 years old, but having recognized it to be from a person he immediately began to fear the worst. In order to keep it safe he plucked the bone from where it lay and, took it with him as he rode up and down the river. He then called the police, who asked him to show them where he had found, the thigh bone so they could investigate. However, by the time officers had arrived, the tide had come in and the spot was deep underwater. The police decided to send the bone for lab testing. Mr. Hunt had to wait several months before investigators called him and, asked him to bring a bag to the police station to collect it. It had in fact come from someone who lived in the late British Neolithic period, the end of the Stone Age. Experts had been able to date it to between 3516 and 3365 BC. Neolithic Britain saw the arrival of farming culture, as migrants brought techniques and tools from continental Europe. An archaeologist estimated the height of the person it belonged to, as about 5 feet 7 in tall, but it's not been possible to tell if they were male or female. The age of the bone means it's older than both Stonehenge in the UK and Egypt's pyramids of Giza. The Museum of London, which Mr. Hunt hopes will become the eventual home for the bone, has a fragment of a Neolithic skull which is dated between 3645 and 3600 BC. According to the museum, the skull is one of the oldest things retrieved from the River Thames. Mr. Hunt hopes the bone will one day sit alongside it.